Finally, we have Gravity Wagon's own consoles. Yes! What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, I've got 22 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got 13 new and 5 updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got 2 new and 2 updates. Let's check them out. First up today, we have the Lizard KTP 7.4 and the 9.4. Both these are going to be cultivators. The 7.4 is going to require 180 horsepower, 7.4 meter working width. You probably figured that out. At 9 miles per hour, main color, we've got red and green. And it's going to cost you $9,300 and 100 bucks for the color and if we move over to the 9.4 is going to require 300 horsepower as a 9.4 meter working width at nine miles per hour and you can change main color from green to red if you want to change that main color it's going to cost you 100 bucks as well the cultivator itself is going to cost you eleven thousand dollars now i will say this these cultivators look really good oh man <laughs> they do they look really good uh russ agrotech you did a fantastic job on these mods. Next up, we've got the placeable forage silo. This also goes with the forage mixer, but we're going to be talking about the mixer here in just a second. I know it looks like they're connected. They're not. I'll explain. So this is a steel silo to store the mixed ration. This silo is used in combination with the forage mixer. Only then can you use all the features of both mods. Steel silo for a fixed uh, mixed, or mixed ration with the capacity to store 200,000 liters of forage as a price $25,000 in which you must pay $25 daily maintenance. Um, again, you've got to use this guy right here. Speaking of this guy right here, the forage mixer. Boom, there you go. So find the perfect place on your farm to store this 40,000 liter capacity forage mixer to get the perfect mix ration. Supply with two straw, three hay, and five silage. Check. <laughs> and uh, there you go, you're all good to go. Um, this is interesting. So it says you must place mixer on previously leveled ground. You must use this in combination with the steel silo. Uh, once the perfect mix is obtained, move your vehicle close to the pipe area and activate the discharge on the interaction zone of the mixer. Don't forget to turn off the download. Um, note that you can select between the pipe and the silo to download. Toggle between one option or another to download your mixer. They say download. Um, of course, this has probably been translated from one or two languages at least uh, just means unload that's all it is don't forget to empty the mixer before leaving the game you should leave it stored in the silo uh you lose all your product is it just me or are there are a lot of mods coming out now after dd mod passion release theirs just saying all right let's uh let's make some tmr homes boop there's that i kind of Ooh, can i fly up here to get this top one off yes hey, hey oh that's what i'm talking about right there this this is farming <laughs> let's get all these up boom 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 toss them in that did not work hey this is <laughs> this is like a normal gameplay for me boop drop it good to go there so again five silage bells they've actually changed up the uh the ration so usually you would have equal amounts of hay and straw uh, or hanging the uh, silage rather unfortunately with this mod this has completely changed it up so you need different setups now we've got our 40,000 liter if we enter we can see we have total mix ration and let's see we can turn on so start, start the engine turn it on and then you can see we have tip side pipe discharge and silo discharge it says start overloading total mixed ration and whenever we do that it starts to empty out, but it's emptying into the silo. So that's pretty cool, right? I think that's neat. And this is what it'll look like if you just buy it. It's got this right here. Now here's my question. If we've got this and it's full of TMR, as a matter of fact, can we just F11 into this? Can, can we do this? Forge mixing, is that, is that it? uh that's not it let's see forage maybe it's forage nope straw forage there we go total mix ration all right so we could cheat it in what if instead of using it with just that other silo could we use it with any silo this makes me question can we do that because if so 
then this has a real, I don't say real purpose, but it has a very good purpose at that. So let's go with, let's see, not the Silent Potomac Expression. I want to use something that you guys would definitely use. Small grain multi-fruit. This guy right here. What if we park this up right here beside it? So like right there. Can we tip? Aha! Uh -huh. We sure can. So the pipe, just make sure the pipe is over a silo. Doesn't look like it actually has to be this silo. As long as you can get it to work, you can actually make your own TMR with this, or you can overload through this pipe as well. You can do that. But if you run it like this, you can run it to any silo. Cheats with DJ. There you go. This is cool though. This is, this is not game changing, but it's really neat and it's gonna make things hopefully a whole lot easier for you guys especially if you're using bales now obviously you do not need to use bales you can use loose silage straw hay whatever you want there you can do that if you wish but this is how it's meant to be done super cool man super cool and then when you're all set and ready to go uh just grab whatever vehicle you've got if you want to use the mod that it came with or that uh that it is coming with rather simply just pull under here and select huh um not actually getting a tip trigger to unload on that silo oh that's odd what about uh what about this one <laughs> do we get one for this one yes and we've got tmr TMR. Oh, you know what? You know what it did? It it thinks that these silos are, are together. <laughs> it thinks that they're one. So it's actually not using this to do anything with. Let's 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 fix that real quick. Let's delete this silo. Oh, it's not. I can't delete the silo. Oh, there we go. And then let's get rid of that. There we go. And I just put si okay this interesting for sure let's see forage there we go unload the TMR into here and then huh so it's not letting us get any TMR out of that what if we come under here no TMR there either what if we go in here nothing i i can't get it out um huh what am i doing wrong i've got it i've got it so <laughs> this is neat so you actually can't unload through the silo itself you actually have to come right here it says uh what was that it's not going to be enter vehicle i think it's activate silo is that right so activate silo download there we go now now we can get it out okay cool all right so it works i just wanted to make sure that i wasn't gonna say like no it doesn't work it definitely works so you're gonna need to do that also in order to get this opened you're also gonna have to do this right here so raise and lower open and close that and then we've got disable. So red lights, green lights, all good. Cool. All right, so this is this is a little bit different. What do you guys think? I like this. Next up, we got a small mod pack for you. This is gonna be the Cokerling All-Rounder Classics. This comes with three cultivators. You get the All-Rounder 600, 500, and 400. And yes, those do correspond with working with. So six meters, it's gonna require 140 horsepower at 10 miles per hour working speed. Tides, you have reversible point, and you have goose foot point. So you've got either one of those, whatever you like, and design standard or feller wheels. You can also do the hydraulic level board as well. And you could do the follow harrow in the back and leveling tines. Goodness gracious, that's a bunch of stuff to put on there. 
And then here we have the 500, 120 horsepower. Pretty standard here. You could do the goose point, goose put, goose foot points, as well as all of the included options. This guy's just bouncing around, having some fun. And then on the 400, 100 horsepower required, reversible and goose foot. You also have all of the designs. Super cool. This is only require 100 horsepower, 10 miles per hour, all that good stuff. Nice, dude. I, I tell you what, the Cokerling stuff. I really, really like. Um, I actually really like these from, I think it was this one right here, or the 18, um, the eight meter version, 18 meter version, something like that, that we got in Farming Simulator 17. I loved it and I used it all the time. Next up, we got something pretty cool for you. The Gregoire Besson Prima Pack. This includes two rear plows and two front plows, all of which are kind of the same, but just reverses the tines, which is which is pretty neat. So we have the Prima 50. This is gonna require 120 horsepower, 2.8 meter working with, trying to expand numbers here, and seven miles per hour. And then we have the AV. This is the front version of that. 120 horsepower required, 1.4 meters at seven miles per hour. So not quite the same, but it will increase your working width from 2.8 to 1.4. Is that three, 4.4 meters total? And then you've got the Prima 70 and Prima 70 AV. So again, similar stuff here. You've got a three meter plow and you have a two meter plow, bringing a total to five meters if you use both of these together. That's kind of neat. I like that a lot. <laughs> I really do. I probably won't use it because I don't really use plows that often, but this is neat. This is really cool. And if you guys want to use something like this, that's super cool. One on the front, one on the back and get the work done. Next up is the FarmTech Superflex 600. This is going to be a brand new manure spreader for all platforms. Has a 3000 liter capacity, 44 horsepower required to run this. Nine meter working width at 12 miles per hour configurations. We have standard, we have capacity 6,000 liters and trailers, which is going to extend this up to 70,000 liters. Now, unfortunately, um, that is gonna take away the manure spreader. So that's gonna turn this from a farm tech manure spreader to a farm tech trailer. Now I do like that. I think that is neat. So 3,000, 6,000 or a 7,000 liter trailer. And it will set up, so we have the 305s, we have the 400s, we also have the 500s, and then back to the 305s. Pretty cool there. Next up, we've got something that's gonna change the game for everybody, and it's gonna make things a whole lot easier. This is the PTOC connector, the PTOC 220. It looks like a weight, yep. What does this do? This extension is intended for forage harvesters and is actually in the vehicles and forage harvesters section right here. This is gonna cost you $2,500, and the overview is it's a tow bar of sorts. So this is easy to connect to the rear of any of your forage harvesters compatible with all manufacturers in FS19. It includes a trailer hitch, PTO, ball coupling, electrical connections, compressed air connections for your brakes, and hydraulic connections. This is insane. What does it do? Well, let's let's get one and let's get, uh, you know what? You know we're going to have to get right. We're going to have to get this bad boy right here. So we picked those up and we've got this. As you know, you can't really hook up anything to the back, right? What if I pull forward and hook up into this? Boom. It may not look the prettiest, but now we have basically every connection in the game minus a three point hitch, which you could put on here just as easily as well. This right here, super game changey, very good. You can hook up any of your trailers. Let's say you wanna use this with, with a trailer or maybe a loading wagon, something like that. This makes doing chaff by yourself pretty much possible now. <laughs> Beforehand is really difficult. This, use it with anything. You're good to go, man. You're good to go. Oh, I love it. Hoka Sands, of course, Hoka Sands stock was the modder of this. Why wouldn't they be? This is perfect. Next up, we've got something that a lot of you guys have been waiting to see. The Gravity Wagon by Stoneway Designs. This is a homemade gravity wagon. It looks like a certain brand, but I'm not going to say anything about that because I am happy to see this in the game right now. And we get options. Main color, you change whatever you want. We're just going to go with deer today. And then rim color, change that whatever you like as well. If you want anything else, match your tractors, vehicles, anything like that, you're good to go. It would be nice to see some logos that we could put on this, kind of like the ones that we have on the, uh, is it the lizard header cutter pack or lizard cutter pack? 
header pack something that wasn't I always use. It would be nice to see something like that, but for this, you could slap those logos on the side. I think that would be neat. Wheel brands here, we have Lizard Tire. We have a Trelleborg with a standard 404. Are those 404s? Yeah, they are, but they're real skinny. Um, and we also have the Twin Radials as well, and you have Michelin Tires. I know a lot of you guys are going to be running this exact setup probably by the time this video releases. You can also hook all of these up to each other. Get out of here. You can see right here, we've got one for John Deere. We've got one for Kloss, Case, and New Holland as well. With different wheel setups all through. What you guys think about that? That's pretty sweet. Next, we have the Duvelsdorf DFZ3 by Vertex Design. This is a log grab and can be used to get your cut logs from out of the woods and brought in. Maybe you've got something that's just a little bit too big. This is going to work perfectly. This go on the front or the back of your tractor via a three-point hitch or anything that's got a three-point hitch for that matter. Back in, drop it down, back into the log, grab it, pick it up and make your way out of the forest. I like, this is super cool. Of course, Vertex Design, they make just top notch, top quality. Some of the best mods detail wise that you're gonna find. Next up, we've got the Bell Pusher by Shermy SOB Modding. They've actually sent me this mod to use and I was planning on doing a video on it this weekend and it's here. So, <laughs> ta-da, we'll do a video on it today. How about that? This is really neat because we get a 500 kilogram pusher. So it tells you how much it weighs to begin with. I like that. I really, really like it when implements similar to this actually tell you how much they weigh. What is this used for? Well, you could use it for pushing square bales or round bales out of your way. Maybe you're going down straight. Use them to kind of push them to the left or the right, whichever way you prefer. This is kind of uh, made off to push towards the right. And what it'll do is it'll move that bell over for you so that you can get it lined up with maybe your, your wrapper or your collector, whatever you're running there. And we could change up main colors with this. So it's going to change up your primary color. It's still going to keep those warning stripes. That's phenomenal. Pink, go for it. Any other color, go for it. How does it look with the John Deere color? Not too bad at all. Still prefer the case though. Man, that looks good. So there you go. That is your Bell Pusher by Shermy SOB Modding. Next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Wood Crane. This is a placeable wood crane for unloading logs. Has a very big grapple so you can grab as many that you like at a time. Uh, there's two different versions of this. You can see we have the shorter version on the left and we have the extended arm on the right right here. Um, so this way you can actually take uh, bells and or uh, logs and well, I guess whatever you can grab a hold of and you can maneuver stuff outside of this initial loading zone. That is very nice to have, very nice to see as well. Um, it does say that these can be placed over rails or sell points for loading, unloading on the train, etc. Best place is on flat ground. However, you can place it on a slope. Concrete ramp under the crane will show, as you can see right here that we've got. We also have our own custom, uh, custom stuff right there. Very, very cool. All controls can be set via your input bindings if you're on PC, if you're on console. Well, we're about to find out what they are. So let's, uh, let's figure it out. Let's go here. Do we have to climb the... <laughs> okay, we can enter the vehicle down here. That's cool. So, let's see. We've got turny, if we push both of them. We've got a grapply. And then here we've got up and down on the right stick. And then left is going to go left to right. And then down is actually going to be going this way. So, controls are... Not a little bit backwards, but uh, you could probably easily reset those however you like. And of course, you can move multiple at a time. Very neat, very cool. I'm, I actually like this because there's a lot of you guys that do a lot of logging and you have problems sometimes getting from point A to point B. Well, guess what? This... This is going to make things a little bit easier for you. Your next to last new mod for all platforms day is going to be the Old Shed. This is definitely an Old Shed if I've ever seen one. I love it. Old Shed where you can store your farm items, lights inside and outside the shed. Detail lock with a padlock. Boom, you just saw that open right up. Season's ready. It's going to cost you $1,200 and maintenance is two bucks per day. I would, ex I would expect maintenance to be a little bit higher than that, but that is what it is. It looks pretty good. Um... Let's see if we can find our light. I love that we've got like missing boards here that you can see straight through. It doesn't say anything about the lights. Let's turn our help window on and see if we can find a light switch. We've got a close there. Let's see. Nada? You know what? I've got one idea just to double check and see. Let's go through the nighttime and let's see if we can make these things turn on. 
Yep, sure enough. And I love that they're a little bit dim as well. That is awesome. I am digging this, man. Yes. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Lizard Rear Palette Fork. This is a $300. Well, it says $300, but you immediately have to pay for a color. I do not like that, but it is what it is. What are you going to do about it? Um, if you get one of their custom colors, it's only going to cost you $200. If you get an in-game color, it's going to cost you $300. We do have what looks to be, let's set this to white real quick. We do have what looks to be a very nice uh, kind of metal look. You might be able to see that reflecting right there. That looks pretty darn good. Otherwise, it's just a pallet fork. That's really all it is. Hooks up three-point hitch. It says rear pallet fork, but you could use this on the front if you've got something as well. They've shown it off on their um, their picks with older tractors, but this will work with anything with a three-point hitch. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. First, we have Oberkrabuck. This is going to be changelog 1.004. Field textures have been changed, new farm silo, lights have been added in halls and shelters, many decorative changes, straw triggers for cows and pigs accepted now. That is great. So they've got, uh, you got bells that'll be accepted there and also updated the description version. No new game save is necessary. Thank you. Thank you very much, Richie F for letting us know, Hey, you don't need a new game save. That is very important. And an update to the lizard N 219. This is going to be change log 2.0 new colors and some fixes. We've got an update to the small bunker silo. This is going to be change log 1.1, fix the model and fix the silo filling. Your next to last mod update for all platforms today is the silo facility by Missy B. What up? You got version 1.2 on this added lights. So you've got lights now and your last mod update for for all platforms today is going to be the grain quit storage again by missy b modding change log 1.1 added additional silos that is cool very nice to see good updates and moving into new mods for pc and mac players today we have west newton farm by any modding we've already shown this map off in detail but make sure you go check it out for yourself if you're on pc this is super cool welcome to west newton farm this map is located in ayrshire scotland map is a real life area in ayrshire scotland which has been adapted to suit farming simulator 19. the map includes all fs19 features custom models made by the modder off of real life area full season sport with grazing that's very important custom lighting with thicker clouds and bluer skies animated objects custom grass texture custom traffic custom distance texture four farms Two grain cell points, biogas plant, dairy, sawmill, and egg cell points. Over 110 fields, all of various sizes, custom transport missions, field contracts on most of the mission, or on most of the fields, rather. You also have real DEM based in Ayrshire. You have a snow missions, which is super cool. Manure system compatible, custom tree textures. And you would like to thank all of the content creators who made first looks and helped test the map. Hey, I did one of those. That's pretty cool. Edit Modding is a super cool guy, very down to earth, super chill, and extremely talented. Hope you guys really enjoy this map because he's put a lot of work and effort into it. He will be working on this for console players as well. Now that this has been released, make sure that there's no issues and will very likely release, if needed, an update with uh, with that console version as well. Super cool stuff here, man. And making our way into our second and final new mod for PC and Mac players today, this is the Vibrati 25R for ends. Holds 45,000 liters. We have Trilex rims. We also have perforated rims as well. So you've got back and forth between those. And then you might have a trailer hitch in the back. I don't, I don't think that's a trailer hitch. Uh, but nonetheless, you've got duels on every single axle except for the rear axle. You got singles back here. Just a really cool looking trailer. I'm digging it. No custom colors, nothing like that, but it is a 25,000 liter, 45,000 capacity trailer moneyness. Yep. I think I messed a couple of those words up regardless. This thing holds a lot. And making our way into mod updates for all platforms. First, we have uh, Skies. See, so, yep, yep, this one sure is. Uh, this is going to be changed log 1.0.1. Map background has been changed. Tree rendering distance has been decreased to make uh, make the map more optimized. And they have fixed the infinite save game bug, minor terrain, and object fixes. And lastly today, we've got an update to the display for tool position. This is going to be change log 1.0.2. Script is new, added to all attachments, also in mods without standard specializations, such as a forklift and things like that. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!